All right, folks, how you doing? Russell True Results 303.com. Check out the website, link in the description box, Mind, Body, Spirit, Fitness. Excuse me, putting the healing back in health. Once again, when you're at the website, sign up for the free newsletter. Check out the free gifts button. Downloads there for you on setting goals, fitness, nutrition. Don't forget to follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. The podcast is out there on all major podcast players. True Results 303, just... Search for that and you'll find it. Like those pages, join the community. Coming at you today with a video on what to do if your leg, one leg is smaller than the other, right? That's probably what I'm going to name the video because that's going to get more views possibly and help more people. But in reality, it's just understanding your body and doing exercises correctly because sometimes we're not doing them correctly and it is also due to muscle imbalances. I'm actually studying for mine here. Understanding muscle movement. This is test two out of five, so I'm doing some studying right now. Uh, so we've got to understand, right? It's the quadricep, quad, four muscles. There's four muscles in it, right? We've got the, uh, what do they call it? The rectus femoris, which goes straight up and down. Then underneath that, there are three other muscles. And I think it's the vastus lateralis, which is the outside. Let's see, I'll look it up real quick. Um, which is the outside, the vastus intermedius, which is the middle, and then the vastus medius, which is the inside. Lateral, lateral shuffle, the outside, medius, middle. Intermedius is in the middle. I might have gotten it wrong, let's see. Yep, vastus intermedius, vastus medialis, there it is, and lateralis. So lateral, inter lateralis, intermedialis, medialis, okay? So first we've got to understand, I have that issue. I'll stand up, I got my tiny legs, I haven't been doing anything lately. So you can see with mine, right here is bigger than here, right? If you see it. So out here is about the same, the, the uh, lateralis. For me, it's the, the medialis is smaller, right? So what we've got to understand is we all have our own dysfunction. Right, so the first thing is when you're squatting, you need to remember or you need to be aware of what your body is doing. If you have had an injury before and you limped with one leg for two months, then you're already favoring that knee and sometimes you have ingrained that limp and that pattern into your natural walking gait. So from then on out, it's hard, your body needs to remember to get back to proper function okay so sometimes that can be an issue if you had a major injury and your body is used to this new way of walking next it's once again it's just knowing and distributing the weight on your legs evenly whether you're squatting or deadlifting or even when you're doing leg extensions sometimes that dominant leg is just gonna take over and you're gonna be using this leg more than this leg so you're actually getting more of a workout on your dominant leg than your non-dominant leg. So that's the next thing. Then you've got to understand how do your feet look when you are extending, right? When, you're, when you are extending is one foot in and one foot out. So you're extending and you're like this, right? So now you've got to understand if we're here, right? And I'll just use my hand, arm as an example. You can see here, since I, know I, don't, I can't get to my feet here, if I rotate inward, just look at right here at my elbow. If I rotate inward, now new muscles are at the top of the movement, right? So if I'm having this issue of the inside of my knee being smaller than this inside, from here, now I just want to rotate just slightly out, slightly. We don't want to go too much a slight rotation out and now that's going to expose that medialis, the vastus medialis. So now once I start to extend and do my extension, I will be using that muscle and targeting that muscle versus if my leg is perfectly straight, I'm going to be targeting, you know, more a majority of the rectus femur, I think is what it's called. No, the rec I think that's what it is. Yeah, the rectus femoris 
and then the vastus intermedius versus if I turn that foot out just a tad, not too much. And of course you don't want to try and go too heavy, but then you start extending, now you've exposed that muscle. Then if you turn it inwards, now you've exposed that outer, the lateralis, the vastus lateralis, right? So just the angle of the feet slightly can now engage different muscle groups. Okay, and this is something that I learned from when I was at the gym from our fitness manager who was a female, but she was a bodybuilder. That's something she told me as well. And then she also said with the hamstring, sometimes the hamstring come into play. I'm not going to go into that. I'm going to go with the rotation here, rotation inwards, and then just making sure when you are curling that your feet are the same and one's not in. And when you're curling, you're not like this. And it could be the same when you're walking. So there you go. I hope that helps. That's going to help you even out your legs. Once again, be conscious of how you are distributing your weight through your body when you are squatting and you are deadlifting. Same when you're doing your extensions. Anything like that, make sure that you are properly distributing your weight. And then if that's if you feel that you are comfortable that you are doing that properly, then slowly start to move the foot in or out, depending on which side of the muscle of the leg that you want to be engaging more. All right. So once again, I hope that helps. Don't forget to follow on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus podcast, True Results 303. And then of course, subscribe to this channel. Share and like these videos.